<laughs> First, um, it's great to see you. I hope that you are safe and that you feel love wherever it is you currently are in the world right now. Now, my white people, my white friends, <laughs> looks like some of y'all are really upset about racism right now. It's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> you might suddenly be noticing that some of the folks in your life that you thought just make snarky little jokes about people of color might actually really have an issue, right? Or perhaps you're finding that people that you knew always might be a little racisty are now becoming a lot more brave. So you are an ally and you decided to no longer just scroll on by, but you were going to say something. You were going to stand up for your friends of color First, thank you. Because honestly, very few black folks got the time right now to chase after every pseudo slightly racist meme that we see on the internets. We have bigger fish to fry, like simply trying to stay alive. <laughs> now, second, I do not have the privilege to just jump on a racist thread and say, look, you freaking racist, you racist, you just cut it out. But listen, even though you may and you feel the right to talk to someone who looks like you that way, I challenge you to keep the big picture in mind. Though this may be a newfound passion for you, many of us black folks have been out on these streets attempting with every tool in the toolbox that we have to have real, honest, non-confrontational conversations with people who are not only not like us, but oftentimes just don't like us. These conversations are nuanced. They have to lead with love and with grace. And this is the hardest part for me. They have to lead with a sense of empathy because keep in mind, we are not just trying to win an argument. We are trying to change the world so that their kids look at your example and don't want to model themselves after your opinion, but model themselves after you. So next time you feel the fire to jump in and play the racist police, which make a great TV show that I would completely watch. Hmm. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Think about how you can engage us with love and grace and empathy. And if you don't think you can pull it off, I hate to say this because we need you so badly right now. And I know it's hard. Don't just scroll on by. We don't need another pointless argument. We need to take steps forward to the right direction. And you have the ability to make that happen. Your words matter and the kids are listening. So let's try not to let them down. Now, let's go change the world, shall we?